some finance news. The Tobacco Institute of Southern Africa is pleading with SARS to intervene in the increasing illegal cigarette trade. The Institute says the crisis started in 2014 when former Commissioner Tom Mayane took over the reins at the Revenue Service. Growth in the illegal cigarette trade, they say, is costing the country 8 billion rand annually, with over 12,000 job losses looming in the industry. Well, so research house Ipsos has released its latest report on illegal trade. Let's take a look. Tobacco, one of the biggest contributors to the fiscus. But the illicit trade in it is booming and the legal industry bleeding. Your legal brands. It's a developing crisis. Operators in this country who operate outside of the law took the gap and they made billions for themselves. And one question has haunted the Tobacco Institute for years. How big is this illicit market? Research house Ipsos was assigned to come up with answers. TISA assumes that brands selling below their 17 rand 85 mark um, are deemed um, as illicit. And in its June findings, almost 27% of brands were selling below the minimum collectible tax. Despite all the activities, so that's increased to 33.1%. Um, so that's quite a big statement. So one in three cigarettes sold within the country now being uh, sold below that minimum tax owed. TISA says 12,000 jobs are at risk and those on the ground are feeling the pinch. We wake up every morning to go to work to earn an honest living. And in doing that, we also pay our taxes, mind you. So we expect the government to make sure that any player in the tobacco industry is being monitored, audited, to make sure that they don't under declare. It's an industry bleeding 8 billion rands in lost taxes annually. Because of our pressure, in 2014, SARS announced Project Honey Badger. And Project Honey Badger intention was to investigate illegal illegalities in the tobacco industry. We welcomed that and we supported that. If we think back, if that happened in 2014, we wouldn't have been here today because we wouldn't have been in trouble. Moyane was appointed and the investigations into the tobacco industry was summarily stopped. It was terminated. And that's when the rot started. And a plea to SARS to act. Take back the text says it is shocked by the rapid growth in the illegal cigarette crisis, especially after a promised crackdown by SARS. SARS says it's still studying the report and will comment in due course. Margaret Amalhave, SABC News, Johannesburg.